Next up, Jerry Lawton. Jerry. Hey, man, how are you? Good. <laughs> how long have you been with the company? The uh, first time or my second time? <laughs> this time. Uh, I've been employed with Turtle Top a little over seven years. Um, in sales, started off just in Banterra sales, now involved with all products. Great. What do you got to show us? Well, the first thing I want to talk about, which you can't actually see it, but is the uh, steel roll cage and the uh, floor structure. First of all, Turtle Top was the uh, first bus manufacturer to put a five-year, 100,000-mile warranty on the steel cage itself because it's built so strong. Fantastic. Uh, the Vantera Terra Transport dual rear wheel actually uh, was tested, passes FMVSS uh, 220, which is the school bus rollover crush test, which very few buses do that. Um, we also, on the floor structure, we run the cross members the complete width of the uh, bus itself from sidewall to sidewall. So all that weight is sitting on the sidewall of any bus that's built. But we also put a perimeter steel frame around that. So it ties into that and it'll withstand the test of time with that. Great. And there's some other features I want to talk about the floor, but we'll do that when we get inside the bus. Fantastic. The next thing I want to talk about is uh, what you mentioned earlier is our new uh, Challenger 1520 doors. Hope yours open. <laughs> I think it does. Okay. <laughs> In fact, okay, one of the first things you'll see is it has a uh, stainless steel recess automotive style paddle handle inside and out. It's built actually with a uh, complete metal frame, aluminum inner panel, and an outer panel. And this door is solid. Um, it's got a complete hinge all the way up and down. And the other door actually is the, always in the same construction of it. But you'll notice also we don't have that little latch down here anymore. And you don't need that little latch because you have the gas struts cool. standard. So it'll keep this door open. It also has a rotary style um, uh, locking latch down here. So it'll stay closed when it needs to stay closed. And actually I got my buzzer going as you can see because it's got a magnetic switch. So when this door is open and if it's and the key's on, it'll set off the buzzer. Okay, no wires. You used to have wires. No wires, actually. Uh, no wires at all. Actually, this is also, it's an option on the 1520 uh, Challenger door. You can have power door locks. The rear door is the same style of door. It does not come with a window standard. You have to option the window in, but every other feature with it is the same. And you can hear it close when it closes. It's solid, so let's go inside the bus. To finish more uh, about the floor structure, the one thing we do is we put a uh, steel aisle stiffener all the way down the center of the aisle. So that floor is not going to get weak years later. It's going to withstand also the test of time with the bus. Uh, we also weld the seat track on a reverse C-channel cap that runs the length of the floor, and it's going to hold that seat in, which, of course, pass all the Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standards. And one thing Turtle Top does, a lot of uh, bus companies uh, do not do, is we actually have the seats, even though the uh, seating manufacturers have them certified, we actually have them tested in our floor, in our bus, and to make sure they pass the pull test on it. Uh, uh, one thing with this uh, floor plan here is very versatile. Oh, it can be actually a 12 passenger with driver co-pilot. It's set up. It can be an eight passenger with one tie down, or it can be a six passenger with two tie downs. And it's just a matter of taking your foldaways and put them up and down. On. But uh, also this bus is a clean bus. And Turtle Top was the first bus manufacturer to start the clean bus philosophy. And what that entails is it's a nanocide material, which is a silver oxide, which actually kills superbugs, bacteria, keeps them uh, from mutating. But your sidewalls and your ceilings, okay, are a uh, nanocide material. Your seats, uh, which in fact, the material on this seat here is a new uh, gray pinwheel fabric, not vinyl. So now we have a clean bus available in vinyl, and we have it available in fabric. 
We've also, you'll see on the AV grab handles, there's an option which uh, Freeman does for us as they wrap that AV grab handle for a very minimal uh, charge of, of that part of the clean bus also. Altro floor is a silver oxide, uh, so that's part of the clean bus option. You'll see uh, there's this cameraman's got his hands on the stanchion. Uh, pole is wrapped with a uh, nanoside uh, stanchion grab handles, okay, which is part of the clean bus. You know, and, and the way this, uh, this world's been going, germs and safety has been very important. So it's really something that is important to really push for nursing homes, hospitals, uh, you know, on and on. So another new feature in here is a, uh, it's a, a pro, it's ACT Pro Air AC system. It's a 55,000 BTU system. It has a sidewall evaporator. It also has heat, but it's vented from the, okay, from the front. And you can see all the different vents. Your round circular vents here, that's for the heat. And this here is for the AC. And I believe that's a 25,000 uh, BTU heat. So if you were going, um, you know, up Minnesota or wherever, I'd probably add another floor heater to it. You know, for uh, for cold country, and that's basically all I got right now, Tim. Well, good, Jerry. The the one thing I wanted to say again: the uh, clean bus with the nanoside suppresses algae, mold, fungi, bat uh, bacteria, discoloration, and staining. But one thing people don't think about is mold and mildew. Uh, when you get in a vehicle and it's two, three years old. Uh, you've been in them, you know it starts to smell. With this bus, it's going to smell new the whole life of the vehicle because it does suppress odors. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's go talk to Mike.